Next week is the beginning of fall. You've got an angel trumpet. You don't want to lose it to the frost that we may have in about a month to six weeks. Uh, today, I'm going to show you five ways on how to propagate and take cuttings and probably a few ways in there that you've never heard of. So stay tuned. One of the best ways to propagate a full grown tree like this is to do what they call air layers. And I've got a way of air layering that you may or may not have heard before. Basically, you take a Ziploc bag, a quart size bag, you put about half full of, of potting soil in there, nice and moist. And then you take this bag and you cut it right down the middle and open it up. And we're going to open this one up in, a, in just, not just one place, but several cuttings. And then we're going to wrap it around the stalk of the tree. So there, we open it up, we got a nice open spot. So our bag is prepped for this air layer that we're going to do. Now we got that bag prepped. Now, you could go ahead and take that bag and wrap around the stalk of this and hopefully get some roots in there. And I'm sure that it'll root, and we're gonna try that today. But I've got three different concentrations of rooting hormone here. I've got hormodin-3, which is an IBA, which is um, the rooting hormone, is 0.8% in this one. So that one's pretty strong. Then step down from that, I've got Clonex, which is a liquid, and this one is 0.3% uh, rooting hormone. And then off the shelf at your local big box store, I picked up um, Bonide rooting hormone. And this is 0.1% rooting hormone in this. We're going to try all three. Because if you're not experimenting in the garden, are you really a gardener? So let's get started. All right, we got everything prepped which means we've got our bag cut open. We select the stalk that we want to propagate. We take our bag, and on this one, we're not going to do any rooting hormone on this base. We're just going to basically take our bag, and we're just going to wrap around the stalk and that moist potting soil that's in that bag should cause this thing to start setting root. So now that we got it wrapped around, I'm going to take some electrical tape and We're going to go ahead and secure the bag around the stalk. All right. Air layer one is set. Now let's go and come up. You got a node right here. So everywhere you have a node on this angel trumpet, you have the potential for a shoot to come out. So we're gonna go above this node and we're gonna put another air layer right in here. So this time, we're going to choose the 1% IBA rooting hormone. I'm just going to take my finger and select the spot that we're going to put the air layer. We're just going to put some rooting hormone on there. Now, with angel trumpet, you don't have to use rooting hormone. These things want to root. But if I can give it a little edge to maybe hurry up and set root a day or two earlier, then there's an advantage there. So we got that dust on there. Set that to the side. We're done with that for now. Take our potting soil, put on for our next air layer up here. 
and then wrap it with tape. All right, air layer number two. Everybody needs a gardening cat to help them in the garden. Now we're going to come right above this one, at least one node, and we're going to put on our third air layer. But this time I'm going to use Clonex. This is 0.3% rooting hormone. And I'll just use my finger and just paint some on there. I'm not really worried about contaminating my rooting hormone. I've done this enough for several years that really have never been bothered by contamination. Some people are adamant and they'll leave you nasty comments that you're not supposed to do that. But I do it anyway. All right, air layer number three. This is called the sandwich bag method. If anybody is curious if this method had a name or not. <clears throat> this is kind of popular in the fig community. And so I'm a, I'm a bit of a crossover. I'm a fig tree collector, but I happen to like tr angel trumpets also. Now stay tuned and I'll give you a little update. If you've seen my past videos, where I planted the angel trumpet seeds two years ago. All right, air layer four, we're gonna come up at least one node and we're gonna put our air layer four right in here. And this time we're gonna use the Hormodin three, which is a 0.8% rooting hormone, which is pretty strong stuff. And sometimes if you use a rooting hormone that's too strong, it inhibits rooting we don't really want to do that, but we want to experiment, so no harm, no foul here. If one of these don't take, and it inhibits the rooting, well, I've got plenty of other stuff here, and I'm not depending on this to, to for next year's, oper <coughs> next year's uh, cuttings. One thing I do like about the sandwich bag method is it tends to hold a lot of moisture because you're not letting a lot of moisture escape because of the way you're wrapping this. And I've used the propagation balls, which I'll show you in just a minute, that you get off of like Amazon. And uh, they have big openings and I tend to lose a lot of moisture when I'm using the, uh, the plastic rooting balls. All right, now that that one's on there, this is where it's going to get a little bit different. All right, I'm going to put one more right here. No rooting hormone. Just to round out this top. We'll see how it takes. Now, before anybody asks in the comment what's going on with our house over here, you can see one part of it's white and the other part of it's brown. My wife is actually in the, mil in the middle of having the garage German schmear and uh, half of it's done, half of it's not yet.
All right, so we potentially have one, two, three, four, five cuttings that we can propagate off of this one, one limb right here. All right, so now this is something that you've probably never seen before. I've never done it. It's my first time doing it. We're going to see how this works out together. And at the end of the video, we're going to come back in about a month or so. We're going to show you the results of all this. So stay tuned. But on the second limb that I want to propagate just the top from, just for experiment, I'm going to take these root ball propagation devices that I got off of Amazon. And uh, they're easy to find, just root ball propagating devices. And uh, this one actually has a small little stem at the bottom. And I have some others that are, that are a lot bigger that let a lot of moisture and dirt out. And I don't think I like them as much, but for smaller stems, we'll just try this one and see how this works out for us. We're going to go right up in here and do this quick so you don't lose all your potting soil. Snap those ends together. Now let's uh, put something on that to keep it from sliding. So we're going to tape that off. We don't want this device sliding all the way down the stalk when it rains or wind blows or something like that. So we're just going to put some tape around it. Let's kind of help that stay that, help that stay on there. All right, next, here comes the new part. Now we're going to take our garden snips after we already have an air layer here we're going to come down here about maybe eight to ten inches and give it a cut. Now, look what we just did there. Another popular way of propagating angel trumpets is just to put them in water and let the roots form in water. People are just now doing this with figs, so we're going to see how it works with angel trumpet. We're going to let the roots develop here, pull the water up, feed all this canopy, and hopefully set roots in this root ball. So I'm excited to see how this one turns out. Win, lose, or draw, you're gonna see the results. Okay, so I came back to my jar and I trimmed the bottom down so that this root ball sits on top of the jar and helps support this so it doesn't topple over so easy. This is a lot of canopy to support when you're trying to establish roots. So next thing we're gonna do is come in here and get rid of all these leaves so that we're not losing so much so much moisture through the leaves. We're going to leave just a few on there. Trim that right down. And what the why you want to leave just a couple of leaves is this is going to give off moisture, which in turn is going to draw moisture up the stem. If you can keep drawing moisture up that stem, the propensity of establishing roots are a little bit better. If this didn't have a way to draw water up through there, then I'm not sure really how that's going to turn out. But I think that doing this is going to help it root. I've done this in the past and that was the theory behind it, is to just draw water up through, up through that stem. All right, I took cuttings of the rest of that stalk down there. Now let's go on to a different location and I'm going to show you what I got next. Okay, before we go show you what I want to show you next, the other method that you've probably never heard of, I took one additional cutting and this is just the traditional way of rooting a angel trumpet cutting. Potting soil, keep it watered, keep it moist. There's a little drain hole cut in the bottom and in a couple weeks, that should set root. We're also going to check back and see how this one does. I've done this one in the past and it works just as simple as that. You don't have to get technical with it and do all these other ways that I showed you. There's just, you know, more than one way to skin a, well, you know the rest. All right, for the next way that I want to show you, this is something that my grandmother showed me back when she was still alive. And I've seen my mother do this, and I've seen other numerous people do this. It's not talked about today, and I know it works. 
we come out to the air condition unit on the north side of my house and it really doesn't matter really what side of the house it is but your air condition unit should have a drip drain tube see that white drain tube down there where it's constantly dripping water and that's sand all under there that they put so that that water would disperse so we have a constant supply of moisture down there I took those three cuttings and I dipped them in Hormodin 3, Clonex, and the Bonide rooting hormone just on the tips. We're going to stick them down in the sand and we're going to see how this works out for us for rooting Angel Trumpet. And I know it works because a year or two ago I tried it with some Concord grapes. Well, I forgot my Concord grape cutting was back here and it took root and it grew and it's still growing it's doing pretty good back here no sun a lot of moisture but it's growing so i guess i'm gonna have to dig this up and get this out of here and put it out of my orchard And here's the Concord vine. And then this is where I stuck it a year or two ago. Look at that, guys. Isn't that incredible? Nice Concord vine. All right, so we made our cuttings. We got our propagation set. Let's go ahead and skip forward and uh, see how they turned out. We'll see you in the future.